and welcome to another edition of Seamless Style, powered by Politics and Polaroids. I'm your host, Mr. Parker. All right, so we're dabbling into still that transitional weather. We're starting to get regular six, mid-60s to 70s, even touching the 80s a little bit. So we still kind of in transitional pieces, but I want to feature one of my favorite uh, pieces, which is a sweater vest. Now, I'm not going to do any merino wool sweater vest today. I'm going to do more the more iconic, eye-catching uh, sweater vest pieces, the cricket sweaters, the cable knit sweaters, etc. Okay, so we've done sweater vests before, so we're not going to really dabble into the history of it. I just want to go right into uh, several different styles or several different ways of how to style uh, a cable knit or a cricket sweater vest. All right. So we can start off with my ensemble here. I have a twill rugby Ralph Lauren uh, navy, navy blue blazer. So uh, it's a heavier weight than most of your chino blazers. It is twill, 100% twill, cotton. Uh, the, the, the neat thing about this blazer and one of the things I love about certain sports coats, excuse me, is when they have the uh, pattern under the lapel collar. So when you flip it up, you know, you have that, here you have that heraldic, heraldic rep tie uh, pattern under the collar, maybe with the crest and the green stripes. So just something, you know what I mean? Just something real neat for that ivy and trad style look that we love so much, all right? I paired it with a knit Oxford in the light blue and white stripes. And I threw on this beauty here, Rugby Ralph Lauren, cable knit sweater vest, off-white, almost a cream. Off-white has the RRL logo here, 1924, uh, below the, uh, the lettering here. Now, that 1924 um, collection from Rugby Ralph Lauren, it, there are some great pieces in that collection. There are some cardigans, there are sweaters, there are, uh, I think there's a, there was a hoodie at one point, a lot of cricket stuff with the 1924 on it. So, uh, and a lot of that stuff you can find nowadays on eBay. Uh, sizing might be an issue, just depending on what size you are trying to find those pieces, but I see them a lot. The asking price is not is not for the low, pun intended. It's definitely not for the low. Uh, most people that have have those items, they asking a pretty penny. But you know, again, it just depends on what it's worth to you. Uh, tie. I went with the heraldic uh, crest tie in the navy, and I went with the medium green, almost a almost a full, almost almost a. Uh, a mixture of forest and college a nice a nice different hue but i went with the uh green chinos and the slim fit and then finished it off i finished it off with a pair of boat shoes brown leather boat shoes i didn't want to get too fancy the outfit for me is it's kind of more so on the casual side than it is on the dressy side all right but anyway without any further ado without any further ado Let's get into this episode, man. Like I said, I got three rigs for you today. Different style sweater vests. Y'all ready? Me too. Let's go. Thank you. 
So here we have a beautiful off-white. This is actually more so a cream. Uh, it's a little bit darker than this off-white one I'm wearing, but a cream cable knit sweater vest, rugby Ralph Lauren. Has the double navy blue chevron here. Has the the navy uh, the navy dove embroidered with the uh, olive branch, a symbol of peace, peace and harmony. It's trimmed here also with the double navy blue stripes. Great look. So I wanted to go with that cream and white combination, which is uh, which is which was very very apparent and very prominent when it came to the cricket and the tennis lifestyle of the more well-to-do uh, people back in those days. Okay, that's what they did. They they combinated cream and white, and it's just a, it's just a classy iconic look. So. Uh, I paired it with actually the matching shorts, so to speak. Uh, has the same dove with the olive, but she is standing on a crown. These are also rugby Ralph Lauren. Ties in the front, does have belt loops, didn't need a belt today. It's a perfect fit. White dress shirt, spread collar, went with a navy blue cashmere cable knit necktie. To, combine, to uh, coordinate with the cable here and a bend, and then of course navy and navy here. So we, we keeping with that theme, white, cr white cream and navy for this particular ensemble. Went with some sneakers, white, navy blue stripe on the side, Ralph Polo, Ralph Lauren. They are leather and canvas mix. And then the uh, navy blue cricket socks, which are navy with white stripes and a cricket logo on the side. Nice clean look. If you want to polish it off, you could polish it off with a dad cap. I would suggest maybe trying to find uh, some type of white linen cap or, or or just a white lightweight driver or something like that. But um, it really doesn't need no headwear, and, and that's why I didn't put none up here because I would probably, if it's if it's warm enough outside to wear this, which for me would be no more than 72, 73. Uh, Anything warmer than that, I probably wouldn't want to have on a sweater vest, but you know, 68, 70, light breeze, no breeze. I don't even need a hat, man. Let's just keep it, keep it simple and traditional, no headwear at all. All right, let's go on to the next one. For this next rig, I actually broke out my first ever Ralph Lauren sweater vest purchase. Uh, Off-white, cable knit, of course, obviously. Has a USA flag crested here with USA Olympics. Uh, it's from the, uh, this one is from the 2012 Olympics. Crest, Golden Leaves 2012 USA Olympic team. Beautiful piece. Off-white, red, navy, double chevron, no trimming here. So they kept it simple with just a chevron. Paired it here with a red and navy rep heraldic tie. I did a, a, uh, a small window pane, red and white long sleeve uh, sports shirt 
with the spread collar. And then I did these chinos. Now these particular chinos have red, white, and uh, navy blue stripes down the side, all right? Slim fit. And then I showed you in the montage before I brought this rig out, three different three different pieces of footwear that you could go with that will work just fine with this particular uh this particular ensemble so it really just would deter will be dependent on what you're what you're feeling like for that day uh i showed you the harveys in white with the red and blue stripes on the sole i showed you the harveys in red with the blue and white stripe on the sole different pair of socks for, for each ensemble and then i also showed you the brown drivers with the red and blue stripe across the damp. That's the shoe that I will probably go with on this particular ensemble just because uh, I, I don't get to wear those shoes as much as I would like to. But any of those sneakers with any of these shoes will go perfectly with this ensemble. And I'm a, I'm a last minute person sometimes when it comes to shoe options. So I could put this on say tomorrow and I, I may have been planning the whole time to wear these brown drivers and then I might change my mind at the last minute but either way I know that my ensemble will be complete with any of those uh, options in the footwear department again no hair headwear needed I do have a blue uh, a blue uh, driving cap I could break that out uh, if you got a dad cap, like I have a USA dad cap in the white and in the khaki, either one of those will work. Um, but for this particular, just for this particular episode and showing you guys, I didn't go with any headwear on this particular ensemble. All right, but we got one more and then we're going to be out of here. For our last ensemble very very springtime look this look actually turned out better than i thought it was i picked this cable knit cricket sweater vest up because i had never seen one in brown i wasn't in love with it because it has a pony on it but <clears throat> i thought you know hey it's brown white that's a that's a neat little combination for for a cricket sweater vest so i sit in it and Oh my God, it was like $15 on Poshmark. So I said, you know, hey, I'll pick it up, see what I can do with it, right? So for this, I hadn't, I hadn't touched the sweater. I had never worn it. It was folded up with the rest of the crickets. And uh, I decided, when I decided to, to, to feature the cricket, the sweater vest, the cable knit cricket, and when I decided to feature these freaking vests, I thought about this one. And I said, okay, let me play with it and see what I can come up with. And pretty much when I, when I just started looking in various closets, I was like, man, hold up. This, this, this. So this is what we ended up with. And I love this look. Um, this is more because of the uh, because of the sports coat here. This is more of a uh, 60 degree overcast, but not rain type of ensemble. Um, and the reason I say not rain because I wouldn't want to wear no velvet slippers out in the rain. And I probably wouldn't want to wear it even though it's, uh, you know, it's not going to damage it really like that. I probably wouldn't want to wear this particular piece out in the rain either. It's, this is Italian, um, 
This is an Ita Italian made. It's a it's a very small whale quarterbreak. Um, I picked this up at there used to be there used to be a a polo factory store. Well, Ralph Lauren I call it a Ralph Lauren factory store. There used to be a Ralph Lauren factory store down in Georgia. I want to say Buford, Buford, Georgia, and. The bulk, and I'm talking about 85 to 90 percent, the bulk of what they carried was clearance, polo blue label, polo black label, double RL, and purple label. So this particular piece is purple. And like the price was just, and it was a 44, it was a long, which I prefer the regular now. But I mean this this is a piece I couldn't pay so for that price. And at the time I was an employee, so I still got 40%. Like I couldn't pass it up, but anyway, let's talk about this on song. So we have this beautiful cable knit cricket sweater piece, a rich chocolate brown, white double chevron, white double stripes here. All right. Now what I did is I coordinated it with this Tattersall uh, spread collar dress shirt, which is white based with brown and Columbia blue. You already see where we're going. Did a rugby Ralph Lauren bow tie in a rich brown with uh, pink uh, skull and bones. And then I put it, put this jacket over it. This sports coat here, purple label. Uh, it's like I said, it's corduroy, but I'm telling you, if you can touch it, it doesn't feel like corduroy. It, it feels like, I don't know, it almost feels like velvet. It almost feels like velvet. And I think that's. You know, I'm not an expert on fabrics like that, but I think that's the difference when we're talking about made in Italy uh, fabrics. They, ju they just tend to feel a little different, a little more refined, a, a little more sophisticated. Uh, but put this on top so it could definitely bring out the Columbia Blue in the Tattersall pattern. And then because we are talking about spring, I went with the white slim fit chinos. And as you saw on the montage before, I went ahead and threw on just to keep, just because of everything having that richness to it. Like nothing's distressed, nothing's faded. Everything has that rich look. I went with the college velvet slippers in the brown with the standing jockey on each back. No socks. Uh, if I did do headwear, if I did do headwear, I, want, I would want a fedora. So if it was possible to find a decent hue of brown or tan straw fedora i would want to go that route that get, gives it more of that res, resort look otherwise pass sunglasses head on out but uh yeah this is a like i said this is a pretty pretty neat outfit and this is definitely something i keep in mind before the weather completely flips on us and um, it has us in the 80s and 90s but yeah this this is definitely uh definitely a clean look water water i've been on my water kick outside of these vlogs doing these vlogs i haven't had i haven't had any liquor outside of when i sip on some for a vlog i haven't had any liquor i haven't had any uh, sodas any tea i've been on water for a, a good going on almost three weeks now i just been trying to you know think about what needs to be done to take care of this fantastic body anyway that's another episode in the books today we featured and focused on the cable knit sweater vest we actually did all three rigs with, cr with cricket sweaters and then this particular beauty here is just a, uh, a nice vintage cable knit sweater vest but just a couple of different ways to style them. We still trying to transition into spring. So we still having some 50s, some 60s, and some 70s, and maybe some of y'all out there even touching them 80 degree weather. But uh, you know, we still in the process of transitioning into full blown spring. So get in the comment section. Uh, this is about the time y'all can start really giving me ideas for vlogs. You know, I like to, 
I like to, you know, communicate through the comment section with you guys and let me know that, you know, y'all really, y'all really up here and y'all really value what I'm bringing to the table, which is greatly appreciated. Um, I mean, we're all entitled to our opinions, so that's what comment sections are for. Just know that if you get in the comment section and you give an opinion that goes against uh, anything that I say on my platform, I mean, I you know, I'm, I'm like I'm like money bag, yo. I got time today, but you know, it don't necessarily mean it's gonna be vitriol. It's just I'm not the type that's gonna ignore anything anybody says whether it's positive or whether it's not so positive. So just keep that in mind when you, when you comment. Uh, otherwise, get in the comment section and uh, let's, let's, let's start picking each other's brains on some things we can do as far as transitioning into spring and then some of spring. Maybe y'all give me enough ideas if I haven't already touched on it before in the, in the vlog. Maybe y'all can give me enough ideas that we can roll all the way up through May or something. Maybe even June. Who knows? I would like, I would, to be honest, I would like to keep going year round, but y'all really gotta understand, I, I hate fucking summer. So, like, I, I don't have a lot of summer clothes to me that I can style several different ways and keep you guys entertained and keep you guys interested. So, I'd rather just take the time off, stock up on some more fall stuff, and then come back. You know what I mean? come back early September, end of August, early September, and we can get the ball back rolling. But anyway, hit that like, hit that subscribe, tell a friend, because we're here. And remember, artists paint pictures, haters paint narratives. We no hater, man. All right? Y'all have a good one.